Yep. Hey to your friendly neighborhood Aaron from GameBoothus.com and Amazon was nice enough to deliver my PS4 on Thursday, the 14th. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be boxing uh, my PS4. So I'll do that. I need to first open the box, and of course, this is the only SKU that I know that is available, which is the Jet Black 500 uh, gig uh, internal hard drive model. Uh, let's start off with some of the, the more boring stuff. Um, we have a, a nice uh, micro USB cable. Um, we open these up. I should have prepped before. Oh, see, it opens up the other way. Live and learn. That's eh, okay. Let's see what else. Drum roll. Uh, we have a, an, an HDMI cable, so yeah, that is a first for uh, for Sony, I guess. I don't know. Who cares? It's HDMI. They know they need it. You need. You know you need it. We're all good. I did take it out of the plastic, but this is the uh, the mono headset that it comes with. So you have the uh, the, the singular earbud. And the actual microphone with some controls on it, I guess. Is that a switch? What is that? I don't know. I'll figure that out. So, that goes in there. Of course, you have um, special offers and uh, quick start guys, all that good stuff. Which go neatly thrown right on top of that. Uh, what else? Of course you have the DualShock 4, which the vastly improved DualShock 4 with there's the button, there's the, the speaker, this is the, the touchpad portion, share button, options, as you can see vastly improved triggers. Uh, this is the light that the camera picks up on charges via micro USB, isn't that nice? And of course for the headset we have an input there. So and while we're here let's just you know just compare this to a couple of you know relevant uh, relevant controllers. So on the right here we have the, the Nyko Raven, which has nothing at all to do with the DualShock 4, which is why I'm showing it to you. Uh, yeah, the Nyko Raven's gimmick was that it had the 360 uh, analog stick layout. So, yeah, I've mentioned that. Why, well, I don't know. Uh, let's see. And we have the uh, uh, the Sega Saturn uh, analog controller. Um, also has the, you know, the, the D-pad as well. Uh, this came with uh, Knights. This is also very relevant. But that's why I'm showing it to you, as you can see. Ooh, look at that. This is much more circular so, than this. But this is still better. Uh, let's see what else. Ah, we have a blue N64 controller with an analog stick that I assume is still working, but who knows? It's it's an N64 controller, so yeah. <clears throat> of course, it's a great time to <clears throat> something caught in my throat as I'm doing a video. And last but not least, uh, we have the well, which should be a, a Susan G. Coleman associated controller. Uh, this is the DualShock 3, obviously. Uh, as you can see the, I mean, you see the uh, the concave analog sticks are better than the convex ones. It's funny how many people are so open about uh, their dislike of the DualShock 3. Or people were, you know, people fall in many camps. Some people really like 360s, some people really like DualShock 3, and people really did like DualShock 3, but now all of a sudden, because this is all, all of a sudden, this is garbage. I mean, this is not my favorite controller, this uh, past generation at all, but it functioned. You know, I don't know, people just want to dump on it now just because, well, you know what, I can see why they want to dump on it, because look at this thing, come on. Look, look at this, and look at this, come on, give me a break. This is much better. I'll put that in there. Uh, this did not come in the box per se, but I did go ahead and pick up uh, the camera, and it has this own auxiliary port thing there. 
and it comes with a little TV stand kind of thing. So, oh, it's upside down. So they have a little adhesive part, which I took the plastic off of, so it's probably not very adhesive-y. I made up a word. You can click this part into here, and then these parts bend, so you can kind of have it grip your, you know, the top of your TV or what have you. So, yeah, that is, uh, that's going to just hang. The cord's just going to hang out of the box there, because I'm just crazy like that. Oh, hitting the camera now. I won't do that. And last but certainly not least, we have the PlayStation 4, which is a really nice looking, uh, nice looking console. Of course, I'm getting fingerprints even on the matte finish side, not even the glossy one. So, you see it's very angular, and uh, you have all your various uh, your power, uh, fiber, uh, audio obviously, HDMI, Ethernet, and then you obviously have a report for the camera. And as you can see in the front here, you have two uh, USB 3.0. Oops, I don't want to do that. Uh, and puts there. And it barely fits in there because I kind of threw it all in. And now I'm closing the lid. Sort of. Anyway, so that is my boxing video for the PS4. Um, I guess I should plug all this in and record some video. I also should put this back in the box. I never showed the power cable. Pretty standard. So we'll just put that right here. Bam. It has been boxed for the most part. All right. If you like it, click the uh, thumbs up, the like, uh, subscribe, leave comments, check out the 300 plus other videos that are available and I guess if I'm smart I'll put the links for the other boxing videos I've done so you can watch those too and comment on those and like those okay I'll stop I'm out of here I gotta go play some PS4 I do have some games too I guess I should show the boxes for those Knack and Shadowfall came in today uh, hopefully I'll be getting uh, Lego Marvel tomorrow on the 15th and um, there's a myriad of games I can just download right now. Uh, Flower, Sound Shapes, Contrast, Resogun, Black something. I don't know. Some that, There's two free, free-to-play first-person shooters available, I believe. One of them is Warface, which almost sounds like a parody. Or is it Warframe? It doesn't matter. All right. To the PS4. I'm out of here.